Hey everyone, welcome to Asta's Makeup Closet where we wake up and make up for 30 and up. Today I have a very, very, very exciting video for all of you. Um, I know I'm not in front of the camera, I'm still behind it, I'm still recovering from my surgery. So in the meantime I thought, you know, why don't you enjoy my eyeshadow palettes that I've hauled in the past, well, in the last um, three, four months. Uh, this is my largest eyeshadow haul. This is just a part of it. There's more here. Biggest eyeshadow palette haul. And you, anyone who watches my channel knows that I love, love, love eyeshadow palettes. So, uh, let's get into this. Some of these are new. Some of these are old. Old in the sense they were released um, probably two years back or so. But, you know, I'd just been sleeping on them and then just, you know, decided to bite the bullet, get them and that's about it so if you're interested in something like this and you like eyeshadow palettes makeup in general because i love everything in makeup and do you like this kind of content and of course i'd be making looks i'd be creating looks with all of these please do consider subscribing and let's get into the video then we have the gimme glow cosmetics pastel dreams so i got this palette and i got a lot of singles from them so this is a beautiful palette it's all pastel but the shades are stunning. Like beautiful Joe Chromes. And I've heard this is one of amongst the best pastel palettes around. So beautiful. And I'll show you the one that I've made with singles as well. So this is an Anastasia Beverly Hills empty palette, magnetic palette. And these are my Gimme Glow singles. So again, you must be noticing a theme of greens and blues. <laughs> so yeah. And while we're talking about singles, I also made a palette. Uh, I got some Terra Moon singles. So these are the ones. One is missing because I uh, duped the Sigma sin um, palette in collaboration with Cinderella. And one of the shadows is in there. But this is a gorgeous um, uh, collection. So these were the first four that I bought to try them out. You know, the Terra Moons uh, formula. So they're all draw chromes. Uh, some of them are multi-chromes as well. And some of them are just pastel shimmers. So getting into Sigma now. This is the Sigma Untamed palette. It somehow reminds me of the, um, the ABH... Um, uh, what was that palette called? Uh, subculture. So this reminds me of the AB8 subculture. Somehow, you know, like these shades. <laughs> I don't know why, but this is the Sigma Untamed palette. I've heard wonderful things about it. So I got this and I got another one. The next Sigma palette I got is the Ambience palette or the Ambience palette, however you may want to say it. And this is like a bronze dream very fall very beautiful a beautiful palette and that gold brush wow i love sigma brushes so finally uh not finally but now we're coming into my natasha denona eyeshadow palettes um as you know the gold palette is being discontinued as or has already been discontinued and i was lucky enough to get this Again, one of those eyeshadow palettes I kind of sat on and thought like, oh, I don't think I need this color story, but well, it's a beautiful, beautiful color story. And once you start using Natasha Denona, you don't stop using Natasha Denona shadows. So this is one of the larger palettes. Then I have the bronze palette, which is again, you know, you can say there's similarities between this and the Sigma ambience, but uh, another Beautiful, beautiful palette by uh, Natasha Denona. So, I wish, you know, I had access to her other products, like her foundations and stuff. I haven't heard too much about them. But the shadows are beautiful. Then we have the Natasha Denona Glam Palette, which is a cool tone lover's dream. My dream. I love cool toned eyeshadows. Uh, you know, 
being a neutral um, complexion or a neutral undertone in complexion um, people I, I think I'm very lucky because I can wear warm tones as well as cool tones and they both end up looking nice so you know I consider myself especially lucky to be able to wear all of these colors so that's the glam palette these are the $65 palettes so this is the Natasha Denona love palette again one of those palettes which I thought I did not need and an older palette but it's beautiful so I got the mini I love the mini and I just ended up getting the full size so again a $65 eyeshadow palette and these are beautiful and the final Natasha Denona palette that I have is the latest one which was just released the retro it has a stunning color story I love the plummy shades here I think it's one gorgeous eyeshadow palette some people are not liking it but I'm loving this one can't wait to use this so this is the retro eyeshadow palette I think um, you know them and the uh, Natasha Donana as well as uh, uh, Colourpop has also come up with this 90s color scheme you know like very plummy and stuff so yeah so reminiscent of the 90s I guess coming to my pride and joy this is the Utopian dream by Pat McGrath I don't throw the outside packaging I love it too much and this is the Utopian dream in all its glory these are the three special shades the blitz shades or I don't know what they're called this is my second big um, Pat McGrath palette I have her holiday palette from last uh, year so that was a big one as well but these are the $129 $125 palettes beautiful then I got the melt 20 for the, the 420 palette the milk cosmetics 420 palette I'm not gonna sh throw this outside packaging I think I think it's so trippy <laughs> even though I'm not a smoker of any sort but yeah so this also has that lenticular thing and I've heard very mixed reviews about this eyeshadow palette but the color story really spoke to me so I got it and I think it's absolutely stunning such a gorgeous gorgeous sorry such a gorgeous color story I love these murky greens with the yellows and the blues and you know the browns they're just so nice then I got the BH Cosmetics 80s Remix Dance Palette uh, I'm an 80s child so I love 80s music so I had to get this this shade came shattered so I repressed it it's got all of the shades from the 80s you know especially like like there were combinations like these and these and you know the, the way they've made the rose with the greens and everything people were using all of these shades on their eyes and then suddenly you would see like a pop of pink blusher which is like draped across the cheek around the temple and stuff and it was like amazing so you know 80s is like loud and louder <laughs> and it was just so much fun and it says girls just want to have fun shadows <laughs> so yeah this is going to be one uh, fun video I can't wait to try this then I uh, got a lot of singles and made my own palette from lethal cosmetics maybe one or two eyeshadows are missing from this because I put it in my Sigma you know when I was duping the Sigma Cinderella palette so uh, yeah so the three shadows missing here but overall it was like a purple blue green dream as you can see so I love lethal's uh, eyeshadow formula so I just wanted to get some singles last but definitely not the least and the biggest of them all the be perfect um cosmetics carnival the antidote palette by stacy in collaboration with stacy marie i have the love tahiti palette it's really nice and i got this because i got this because i got this because <laughs> look at the colors oh geez like I said, you know, there's something about browns and murky greens and um, just overall anything swampy and murky that looks just so beautiful. 
and you know this is this is the kind of eyeshadow palette that you know you can work in like nine pans you can work in quads uh, you've got these three rows which are very neutral uh, you've got these which are warm toned and you know more red and orange based and you've got these which are more murky and green and you know moss greens and all of that sage greens it's just it's it's a beautiful fall palette and i think it's one of those great palettes that you can have in your makeup kit um it it's got a color for every um undertone every skin tone anyone can use this and i think it's absolutely gorgeous the quality of course you know from the tahiti palette i know the quality is just fantastic so yeah last but not the least the Carnival the Antidote palette in for by Be Perfect Cosmetics in collaboration with Stacey Marie. So this culminates my haul of eyeshadow palettes. <laughs> and so now you can see the rows empty, the baskets empty. So oh no, there is one more. Oh geez, I am so sorry. So this is Sensorium Beauty. This I saw uh, James Molloy. Uh, use this palette on Instagram and I fell in love so I just had to get this uh, this blue came shattered so I had to repress it and otherwise it's a dream I'm sorry you can't really see the whole thing but yeah that's the best I can show it and all these colors are just so beautiful I, I, there's something about muted shades and pops of brights that you know that just does it for me somehow so yeah so this is last but not the least again one of the bigger palettes so that culminates my haul of eyeshadow palettes uh, I've been collecting these for over four months and you know that's why there's so many and I, I know I went over, overboard with these but um, Eyeshadow is something I love and eyeshadow is something that I care for so much that, you know, um, I just feel they don't spoil as easy as the other products. So, um, it's just, and they're just so fun, you know, there's something about the colors, there's something so attractive about them that um, it's just hard not to get these. So, um if you enjoyed my video, please do leave me a comment. Please do like and subscribe. That would really help out my channel. Please do share the video. And uh, I will be coming up with new content very, very soon where you would be seeing my face with a new backdrop and a new setup and everything. So I'm super excited for that. And see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>